Hey everyone! So this week we are talking about um, good best friends and bad best friends in young adult books. And I'm kind of going to half-ass it this week because honestly I don't remember most of the bad best friends I read about. The good ones are the ones that stick with me. So I'm going to mention like one bad best friend but mainly just stick to books with really good friendships in them. The first one up is Catching Jordan by Miranda Keenley. I just read this one so it's kind of fresh in my mind. Uh, Jordan is the captain of the boys football team and you'd think that the boys would re resent her for that but instead they love her. They're like protective big brothers for her and they are willing to do anything, kick anyone's ass if they hurt her. Very very protective and I love that about them and they're also <laughs> they're hilarious because she doesn't have a whole lot of girlfriends and so she kind of goes to them with her uh, girl problems <laughs> and they're just so funny when they're so awkward and they don't have a clue what to do. And um, there's also some girl relationships that grow throughout that book and um, it's interesting to see how this tomboy reacts to these cheerleaders who she thinks she'll hate but ends up maybe finding that she has some things in common with them. So. Um, there are some very strong relationships already built and then some new friendships that grow throughout the book. So that was a really fun one to read. Um, I also have Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween. It's historical fiction about two spies, um, two female spies, and um, they happen to be best friends. Maddie and Verity are... Um, they're both very similar and very opposite. They're strong-willed, they're brave, they are very like tenacious. If they want something, they go after it. But um, Verity is a little more outgoing and crazy and fun, whereas Maddie is more subdued and quiet. And um, it's kind of a case of opposites attracting and um, similarities attracting as well. And really that book is all about their friendship. There is so much else going on during the book, but throughout it all, there is this theme of friendship that you can't help but notice. And I've heard some people say that they think that maybe there's a little more than just friendship between these two girls, but I never really saw it. All I saw was this awesome relationship that they had that um, was pretty much unbreakable. And so those are probably uh, the best best friends I've ever read about. Uh, and sorry, I have a list. <laughs> My little owl notepad. Um, next up, I have Take A Bow, and this one is kind of funny. It's got both one of the best best friends and one of the worst best friends. And the worst best friend, I want to say the name is Sophie. I read some of these a while ago and I'm not very good with names so I can't remember exactly. But this girl is a total bitch. She is selfish. She is mean. She is heartless. All she cares about is getting to the top and she will step on whoever it takes. And it happens to be her supposed best friend that she steps on and she backstabs her and she is just so nasty to her, always putting her down. And I couldn't even believe that this girl thought she was friends with her. It just, it was obvious how nasty she was. But then there's also um, a couple guys in the book that are um, Emma's friend and, or Emmy, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they are really good friends to her. They see what's going on with this other girl and they are very protective. They are always encouraging and it's clear how much they care for her and what they're willing to do to help her um, realize that maybe this girl is not such a friend after all. Um, next up I have Delirium by Lauren Oliver and I have a feeling Harmony or Lauren might have mentioned this one already but I'm not positive. I haven't actually watched their videos yet. Um, Hannah, who is Lena's best friend, is a character that I thought I would hate in the beginning. I thought she was going to be one of those nasty, backstabbing bitches that um, basically threw their best friends under the bus when it came down to it. And that was not the case at all. Hannah actually ended up doing something very selfless and sacrificing um, something to help out Lena. and. I was like amazed because I just didn't see it coming and I really hope to read more about Hannah in the third installment in this trilogy. I know she has her own short story titled Hannah, but I haven't read it yet. And even if I do read that, I do want to see more of her in the final book. And then um, in the retelling of Romeo and Juliet, When You Are Mine by Rebecca Searle, Rose has 
a really strong group of friends. Now, to outsiders, they're rather mean. They tend to put down people that they don't like, and I, I, I want to say that I don't like them for that, but the way they stood by Rose when everything went down with um, uh, da, 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 Rob and Juliet, it just proved how much they cared for her and what they were willing to do to stand by their friend. And that's all that really mattered to me about the friendship. And then last but not least is Starters by Lisa Price. And this one is kind of odd because in the beginning you see this friendship that is really awesome and then you kind of see it a little bit throughout the book and then you see it again at the end. But it's not this like recurring thing throughout the book. It's just something that kind of pops up every now and then. But um, this is a friendship between a girl and guy and it could possibly blossom into something more, I'm not sure. Um, but he is very protective of her and her little brother. And when she has to go off and leave her little brother, he takes over and takes care of him. And he basically treats them like they're his family. And um, he will do anything to protect them. And he's just a really awesome guy. I hope to see more of in the second book, Enders. So those are my um, best friends that I think are awesome. And then the one not so awesome one. I highly recommend reading all the books. They are very good. They wouldn't be on the list if they weren't. I will link to the Goodreads below so you can add them to your to-read list if you're interested. Also, next week I will be in California for ALA and I will be staying with Lauren. So maybe I'll convince her to do a vlog with me next week. So I will see you then.